So make sure you have a microphone before asking your question. Guys, how frustrating was it, especially in that second half, that you guys are trying to get back in it, you make some shots, and then you know they come down, especially LJ Pryor comes down and makes a shot. How how backbreaking was that? Uh, it was very frustrating off of two crucial threes towards the end of the game. Um, crunch time, I feel like that helped them get a little bit of momentum towards the uh, end of the game. Guys, each of you, they capitalized on turnovers. Uh, just talk about the mistakes and how they seized upon it. Uh, they got out in transition very well and, you know, capitalized. We we didn't do our job just taking care of the ball. Um, we're supposed to have under 10 turnovers, um, which we didn't. We had 18, but they had under 10, so. We were able to uh, score uh, 20 uh, second chance points off of uh, 16 uh, offensive rebounds. Just what are your thoughts on that? We can't, we can't allow them uh, multiple shots in one possession. We got to limit them to one shot whenever they miss. We got to secure the rebound. And that's um, us guarders included. We can't leave all the work to our bigs and expect them to grab every rebound. We got to gain rebound. And I feel like tonight we, we didn't do a good job of that. You guys led for 27 minutes this game, but you guys went on the scoring drought in the middle of the second half. You guys didn't score for four minutes. What was happening there in that situation? Why couldn't you guys get the shots? Um, I feel like there was some turnovers in there for sure. Um, I just feel like we were getting great looks. We weren't uh, penetrating to get to the paint and dishing off. Um, I feel like we were just playing on the perimeter, allowing, allowing them to be comfortable on defense, not putting any pressure on their bigs. What did you like about the first half performance? You guys, you know, obviously you ended the locker room with a lead. Uh, what, what were you guys doing well in the first half? I feel like our defense in the first half was really pretty, pretty good in the first half. I mean, we held them to 28 points and we had a lot of momentum going in. I just feel like uh, the second half, we, we kind of like laid back defensively and hoped that our shots would continue to fall on the offensive end. What does it say about your team, though, that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number one team in the country? I mean, it says a lot, but I mean, I'm not surprised. No one on our team is surprised. It's just, it comes down to the execution towards the end of the game. So. We've competed with pretty much every team in the Big 12, and a lot of those teams are top 10 or top 25 ranked teams. So it shows that we can compete at the highest level. James, you said it there, it comes down to late game execution. And you said, again, we talked in the beginning of the week about your team hoping that they had learned lessons from these past games where it comes down to late game execution. What do you guys feel like is the disconnect where it's maybe not being implemented? Um, I would say it start with the leadership, you know, from our captains, me and Shamar, I just feel like we gotta emphasize some things more. Um, I mean, it just comes down to that at the end of the games. I feel like we need to help out more as far as the rebounding or taking care of the ball, you know, putting guys in better positions where they can be successful. Um, I feel like we didn't do a great job of that tonight. Um, last home game of the season, not the results that you wanted, but you have a chance to get one more back on the road. What are you guys gonna need to do to step up for the last game and make sure you guys get the win? Um, we just need to continue to stay together. Don't listen to the outside noise. We know on the road we, we're all we have, and we just got to stick together and not get too rattled whenever teams go on run. Did you feel like you got rattled when they went on a run? Um, not necessarily. I mean, at moments, they hit some big shots. LJ Pryor is a really great player, and we didn't really, you know, stop him from getting his open threes, and the threes he made were really big threes. Shamar, you were one of the five seniors to walk today on senior night. Um, in honor of that, I'm just curious, what do you think you're going to remember the most about your time here? Um, the support from the fan base. I feel like each and every night we had a great crowd. And like with the first year being Big 12, I feel like it will only be up from here. And I'm super excited to see what, what it has in store. Houston's head coach said that success was in their DNA. They knew how to win games. Do you think that's something that UCF still is trying to achieve? Um, I feel like we're we're definitely still figuring it out. Um, I feel like we've we've done a pretty good job under pressure, um, especially winning a lot of big games when no one thought we were going to win. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like success does um, run in the DNA. You know, they've been to the tournament for the past five years probably. So I just feel like some of those things. Not many people take it seriously as a little detail of things, so I feel like implementing those things really needs to be one of our biggest things going into these next few weeks. The final home game, obviously. What did you think of the fan support this season, first year in the Big 12? 
the fans were amazing all year. Um, I just hope it continues to grow as, as the years go forward. Um, I feel like they did a great job. They brought a lot of energy and enthusiasm. They definitely helped us with a lot of key wins this year at home. So I couldn't ask for more of them. You guys all set? Perfect. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.